Welcome to Nelson Wuhan Woodland Park. This country park and urban green space in South Wales has a diverse range of natural habitats. The site was originally part of Nelson Bog and a stone quarry with railway sidings. It is a unique and beautiful green space. Here is our wet woodlands area where you can walk across a boardwalk to enter. This is where we are about to undertake some conservation work. Nelson Wern Woodland Park is a very biodiverse area. It is a home for many wild plants and animals. If one part of the landscape is changed, it will have an effect on the plant life and animals who choose to live there. Here you can see trees being cut down in order to encourage more wetland growth. This cut down wood will later be used to build our otter halt. This log was cut down last year and it's, as you can see on the side, it's growing lateral roots out the side and new growth at the top. And if we put this in the middle of the otter halt to, to make one of the rooms, it'll grow and grow and produce more roots and more places for the otter to hide inside. Probably last longer. This bit of willow we cut down last week shows the, the, the mines of uh, a, a grub from a moth of all things. You wouldn't think a moth could live inside a, a tree, but this is from a lunar hornet moth. The adult will come along, lay its eggs on the trunk, and the, the larva will spend a couple of years eating through the tree, eventually coming out sometime in June on an early 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning on a sunny day, off to lay some more eggs on some more willows. Last week we cleared some trees. This week we're going to make uh, an otter halt out of them, out of what's left. I've picked a spot here because there's a, a fork in the stream and otters like unusual things. Uh, there are also two nice gentle little slopes going into the streams which are ideal for the otter to haul out on there. They're quite lazy animals so if there's something nice and easy for them to crawl out that'll be fine. This is where we're going to build a halt. We've already got the logs roughly in place, we just need to put some rooms in and, and, a, and a roof and build the walls up a bit higher. Once complete, the otter halt is almost invisible. There is no guarantee that otters will ever use the halt, but if they don't, something else will. They make very good habitat piles and are a source of food for many birds such as thrushes and wrens, providing nesting sites for them too. As you have seen, the wood needed to build the otter halt came from the woodland area itself. Where trees were cut down, the sunlight will now reach further and encourage new wetland growth. This will allow new reeds and plants to bloom where the trees once stood. Conservation work such as this is important as it benefits nature and the park as a whole. It's pretty much the finished article, the otter holes. The natural home for them is uh, amongst the roots of trees along riverbanks. So we create compartments inside to mimic the twisting roots underneath the tree. Uh, the final touches, putting a few leaves over the front just to totally hide it. It just looks like a pile of twigs. Nobody would know it was there. After this, we can plant a few thorn bushes around the outside, just so that once it does 
come to the end of its life and collapse, there'll still be a home there of all the, the, the growing thorn bushes around it. In this year, 2010, Nelson Wuhan Woodland Park has been officially recognised as one of the best parks in the United Kingdom, having won a Green Flag Award for its high standard of safety and security, well-maintained facilities and excellent use of green space. <laughs>